And staying in Logansport, the city is also looking to move forward with plans to provide energy to the city. News 18's Brad Oppenheim tells us what city leaders are proposing and how it could benefit the city in the future. Logansport city leaders are once again bringing plans to the table regarding the future of the city's power plant. Back in January, Logansport Municipal Utilities closed the coal-fired plant after Environmental Protection Agency regulations were not met. Mayor Dave Kitchell says right now, LMU is doing what it can to repurpose the plant. The Utility Service Board has uh, tried to salvage as much as possible out of the plant and they have a plan to do that that have reduced the cost from what originally was estimated to be about $15 million. Rehabilitating the plant still won't come cheap with an estimated price tag of around $6 million. While nothing is set in stone, Kitchell says there is an idea in the works to provide energy. If we can repurpose that generating plant with a natural gas turbine that's cleaner, that's quieter, that's more efficient, and it will produce some revenue for the city of Logansport. Kitchell says the turbine is currently located in California. Although it was built nearly three decades ago, the nearly $50 million turbine has never been used. Kitchell says by making the investment, the city could not only break even on repurposing costs, but also bring in a steady stream of revenue. The city is working with the Purdue Technical Assistance Program to see if the low-pressure steam turbine can be matched up with the power plant's high-pressure steam system. It's much cheaper for us when you look at the, the dollars and cents behind trying to repurpose this plant. This is an avenue that makes a great deal of sense for us. Kitchell says the changes could bring other added benefits. We're hopeful in a lot of ways that we'll have backup power with that plant if it comes online so that if the grid goes down, Logan Support will still be able to run independently on its own grid. Uh, secondly, we're hoping to avert the cost of the $6 million for demolition and cleanup. And third, we're hoping to uh, make it a long-term revenue source for the city. It might even give the area around the plant a fresh boost. I think the nicer we can make that plant, the nicer that neighborhood will be and the more it will do for property values. Kitchell says while it hasn't been decided yet, the possibility of leasing or selling the plant for generation may not be out of the question. That would create additional tax revenue for the city, which we desperately need. He says while only time will tell what the power plant's future will look like, he's staying optimistic. What we have to do is you know, look and, and see what we can do that's cost effective to uh, repurpose that property. Reporting in Logansport, Brad Oppenheim, News 18.